What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. So in today's vlog, it's all about coffee. <laughs> I can barely fit in here. It's actually not bad to be taking a public transport during this timing during the non-peak hours Even if you ask me to draw with a pencil, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Lovely little unicorn. that I keep coming back to and I'm here at the new outlet where they are you know promoting their specialty with pastries cakes scones like everything that related to dessert so it's really really nice the other outlet is right opposite which which is the main outlet which I have been going to and yeah to be honest with you guys I started off with this place to share coffee with you guys because this is one of the best place in Yangon for coffee and yeah but today we we might I think we might be seeing some new stuff today because I've looked it up online and I see some really really cool cafe around this area so I'm planning to go for five so yeah five coffee on the way and I'm about to destroy this lovely lovely art look at this man Ooh. The unicorn is about to be destroyed. Oh! This is actually the third time that I'm saying this line, but anyway, it's not just for the digital nomads here. You can actually bring your entire family, as how Burmese people like it, so. Out of our time, So this is the other outlet, and yeah, they have the same theme, but different kind of vibes. So this is, more towards you know it's more colorful inside and it's a little bit smaller and they are more focused on the food they have a lot of breakfast and lunch menu 
they still have like the quality coffee. So yeah, make sure to come check out Avenue J. So the next place that we are going goes by the name of Kofri, Coffee, Kofri, and yeah, I need to check Google Map for that. Let me see. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, guys, there's still. I don't know if the shop is open. This is another minimalistic coffee place that we found online so we just want to check it out it is just right across the cafe FNUJ and yeah the setup is pretty cool very simple very Japanese I would say we've ordered a cup of coffee and we're gonna you know taste their coffee how is it like because this is my first time here the funny thing is they are closed on Monday but they decided to open up today and yeah some of them were still sleeping when we, when we first came in so that was kind of funny but anyway we're gonna try their coffee and see how it tastes So the next location is just right beside, it's called Leaf Plant. So I apologize for the shop name. It's called Leaf, not Leaf Plant. But <laughs> they have they have cafe and plants so yeah bro it's your fault man <laughs> so this is another small cafe that is located in San Chao and leaf is gonna be another it's, it's totally a different theme from what we have seen from the past two shops um, two cafes so yeah, can't wait to check out what they have to offer. So we have a guest here and she's been to like a lot of co coffee places in Myanmar I guess. And yeah, she said one of the best things here is water. <laughs> River Club. River Cruise. I don't want to. Na pioneer sih, pina matur menjadi cawal. 
food is terrible about your nature. Oh my god, don't think about it. 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 is the cup because I think this is one of my favorite painting starry starry night Vincent van Gogh I want to share the taste with you guys but I think I'm gonna have to wait for a little while it's really hot so give me a moment Nice cafe, nice looking cafe, but I think we should have sat outside. It's so much cooling around the plants. It was like I was I was dying inside because it was so inside. But anyway, their coffee is average compared to the other two. So yeah, nice, but the coffee is just meh, and the prices are around the same. So we're gonna head on to the next co coffee shop. And one thing that I noticed is that. Every coffee shop is using this sugar brand. <laughs> I need to hire this guy for my beer. So guys, this is gonna be our last stop for today because I don't think I can drink any more coffee. And at this coffee shop, I'm not actually drinking coffee. I'm having Thai milk tea and it's pretty good. So no complaints about that. So this cafe goes by the name of Coffee Date. And what I like about this cafe is that it's really spacious. I like the space, I like the vibe here. And compared to the rest of the cafe that we have been going today. I think this cafe is like rather cheap. I, it's like around half the price of what I what we have been having. So yeah, I didn't drink, I didn't really drink coffee so I can't really judge on the coffee. How, how was the coffee? Come on. It's pretty good. She says it's pretty good so yeah. And she's one of the coffee nerd I guess on the internet so I'll, we will have to take her word for it. But really love the space. I think I will have to come back here again to, you know, have, you know, a better understanding of this cafe itself. I'm in a, I'm in a rush to go somewhere else, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. There's gonna be part two, part three, part four, I believe, because from what, I, what I've heard, there's a lot of cafes in this area, in this district itself. So we'll definitely be coming back. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys. So right now I'm gonna rank all the cafes that I went today and it's gonna be by first thing first, their coffee, second the looks and the feel of the place and thirdly the price. So here we go. So the first place that we went to is Avenue J. I think without a doubt their coffee is good. That's why I've been going back for like the past two months. So in terms of coffee, I would say four out of five. It would be unfair if I give like five out of five. So four out of five for the coffee. The looks and the feel of the place is, is just incredible. Nothing short 
nothing short of you know anything actually the stuffs are nice the chairs if once you sit on them you don't want to leave the tables are good so yeah I think this I would say five out of five because wow it's just a like you know when you see the shop you just want to go in and try there's some something like that so and for the price it's around I think it's the standard price in Yangon which is 5,000 charts for a cup of coffee equivalent to I think two dollar fifty cents or just a little bit higher but I think for for the quality that you are having I think that's the fair price okay all the number two is one of my is the top for coffee the cool coffee coffee yeah the cafe named coffee their coffee was just outstanding I'm gonna give this one five out of five for coffee but their place is pretty small and I love the minimalistic you know the the looks of it but um, the stuffs they are they are alright they're not bad but they are just alright compared to Avenue J um, their tables are all shaky I've sat like I, I sat down in different places just to take photos and most of them were shaky their tables aren't that clean and they they're not ready for it you know they're not ready for the business because like I like you guys see in the vlog they were sleeping when we first entered so yeah um, for the place I think maybe three out of five and the price they're the same I think they are a little bit a little ex more expensive than the Avenue J even though they are a little bit small but it's fair enough their coffee is superb so there's nothing that you know coffee drinker would complain so all in all a good place yeah um, pricing yeah a little too expensive but it's alright the third place that we went to is a cafe by the name of leaf they sell plants and coffee mainly and yeah uh, one of the in terms of today I think one of the worst worst uh, in terms of coffee so they're gonna get like two out of five um, can't really taste the coffee in the latte I mean it was presentable it was nice but mm, I wouldn't even say it was nice but yeah it's presentable I like the cup because I like the painting and that's pretty much it uh, inside it was hot as hell um, yeah this there there are some electric yeah there, there was electricity but there maybe the aircon is not working or I, I don't know I didn't really check it out but it was burning hot should have sat outside beside all the plants it was so cooling once I went out so yeah the place and it's pretty small it's just the entrance which is the main attraction because I can see a lot of people a lot of girls a lot of guys came uh, coming there to take photos so yeah the looks and feel of the place not too bad three out of five but oh this one is one of the cheap option along the street because yeah it yeah it's pretty cheap compared to the other two almost one uh, it's just like two thirds of the price three thousand charts something like that so it's not too bad in terms of the price so yeah and the last place that uh, we went to goes by the name of coffee date a lot of people though I love the space it's huge and they I think they are more towards like you know bringing up like playing along with the traditional team uh, I didn't drink their coffee but their tea was amazing uh, it's like Thai milk tea but they have like a hot version of it it was amazing and a friend uh, that I just met or uh, Amun she said her mocha was awesome so I'm gonna have to you know trust her words because she have been doing this like you know she write blogs about coffee so coming from a person like that I, I'm just gonna go with my guts and trust it so I think maybe the coffee she will probably rate around four 
four or five uh, but I'm definitely going back again I'm it just it's just that I had too much coffee like three cups yeah three cups within the spam of two hours so it was pretty crazy for me at the last outlet I couldn't I just don't want to drink coffee anymore and I don't want to lie to you guys so yeah and the place was awesome they have like traditional seats their decoration is pretty cool so I like the place I'll, I'll probably say four or five as well and the price is considerably cheap as well it's like the leaf but with a better place and a better service their presentation is good the staffs are friendly like you know we ordered three drinks and three guys came out with it not just like you know one guy handling with a tray three guys was just like you know it's, it was it's just so so nice to present their drinks like that so uh, really really nice for that price low low price and good service you can't really complain that much and yeah that's it guys so I believe uh, my favorite one for coffee will be Kofri and my favorite cafe to sit in will be uh, Venue J pretty good pretty good and there are tons tons of cafe in that little district is it goes by the name of San Chao uh, it's not very far from me so I'll probably going I'm probably going back there's gonna be like part two or part I think up to part three or part four just for the cafes so it's pretty interesting to you know go out there and check out the cafe culture in Yangon itself so yeah can't wait for part two part three I'll try to drink more coffee I guess <laughs> anyway I hope you guys enjoy this kind of vlogs thank you guys so much for watching um, yeah and I'll see you guys in the next vlog <laughs>